Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with the Ultimate Tech Hub. In this video, we're taking a look at a mini PC from Ace Magic. This is the S1. Full disclosure, Ace Magic sent us the S1 for free for an honest review. And this is our second mini PC review from Ace Magic. We also reviewed the AM20, and I'll put a link in the video so you can watch it. So first off, let's take a look at the outside of the PC. The S1 is a pretty small form factor, not the smallest mini PC. The AM20 is even smaller. But the one thing that's very unique about this PC is the front LED screen. This LED screen is fully customizable and will show your hardware stats like CPU load, fan speed, power wattage, and it comes with different wallpapers as well. And you have the option to make this a clock if you want to. It also has a cool RGB light in the front that pulses. After you launch the software, you have several options. We can do auto, it has a rainbow effect, has a breathing effect, and then lastly has a color cycle. And there is adjustments here for brightness, if you want to turn it down a little bit, or you can just turn it off if you don't like the RGB lighting. Pretty cool. Also has a really neat magnetic stand, like that. You can also place it like this, if you want. But I found this to be more of a bookshelf PC, so this looks really good. As far as the outside of the PC, you have plenty of ventilation. Also, the power button is in the front with four USB connections. So in the back, you have two LAN ports and also two HDMI ports. And yes, this can run dual 4K monitors. And with the dual LAN ports in the back, you could run this as a router, like using PFSense or OpenWRT. And one of the cool things about this mini PC is this magnetic panel. So inside, you can add additional NVMe storage. Pretty cool. As far as the hardware inside this mini PC, well, it's not great. This PC runs a 12th gen Intel N95 chip, which means four cores and four threads, which means it's no powerhouse. And the S1 has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running in single channel. And once again, this hardware is not gonna wow you. However, this model comes with one terabyte of SSD storage. And the S1 is Wi-Fi 6 compatible and runs Bluetooth 5.2. And the OS on here is Windows 11 Pro. So right out the gate, I'm kind of confused about what this is used for. Well, definitely no high-end gaming or 4K video editing. However, you could make this a retro gaming PC, which is very cool because this PC is very portable, which would be great for vacations or road trips or just going over to a friend's house. But once again, I'm kind of confused about what to use this for. And the best bet for this mini PC is a simple desktop computer, which means watching video, running Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, you could do some basic gaming on here, but as far as making this a home lab, I don't think so. You can definitely run this as a file server, but with the hardware, it's not going to wow you. There is one huge issue for this machine, and believe it or not, this comes packed with a virus. It appears that the software that runs this LED screen is a virus, because when I ran Windows Defender, the software was detected as a virus. All right, I do want to show you what happened here with the virus. So Windows Defender basically quarantined the app. So it's no joke. It says right here, this program provides remote access to the computer it is installed on. So that's not good. Matter of fact, I can't recall buying a new computer and having a virus already on it. This is the first time for me, but it's no joke. I haven't tried to remove the software off this PC yet, but I will because the backdoor virus is pretty concerning. And I won't plug this into my network until I get this fixed. I have tested and reviewed many PCs before, and this one is probably the most lackluster of them all. And one more thing that's confusing about this mini PC, when I received this about a week ago, it was $199 on their website, but now it's $239, which is kind of crazy for the price to go up, especially with a PC with this kind of hardware. If this had a better chip in it, then it might be worth a $239 price tag. The S1 is a solid mini PC, just as long as your expectations aren't too high. So let me know in the comments what you think about this PC. Do you think it's too expensive for 199 or 239? And what would be your optimal use for this? A router, retro gaming, or basic desktop PC? Let me know in the comments. So guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.